Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Mojave Air and Spaceport to honor Rutan Bros. Also, Air Speeder Racer begins production in Adelaide, and Parrot UAS releases 4G LTE long range drone. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode with the latest news, stories you don't want to miss. The Mojave Air and Spaceport Board of Directors has voted to incorporate the Rutan name in their title, with specific verbiage to be announced after some brainstorming and approval. The board voted 4-0, with the president, Jim Ballantyne, abstaining from the vote. The move aims to recognize the efforts of legendary aircraft designer Bert Rutan and his record-setting aviator sibling Dick Rutan for their work in putting the facility on the flight test map. Burt Rutan founded his aircraft factory at the formerly small General Aviation Airport in Mojave in 1974, beginning his company Scaled Composites a few years later. Today, the facility is enjoyed by space tourist companies Virgin Galactic and the Spaceship Company, 47 years after Rutan began his work there. Burt Rutan designed a number of aircraft throughout his career, most famously working on Virgin Galactic's Spaceship One, Very Easy, and and long easy aircraft among many. The vote is a step towards an honorary change for the first time being, but as it stands only signifies some measures of approval. Actual name changes would necessitate rebranding, bureaucracy, and expense, unlike a small token of the region's appreciation of its history. The board has decided to split the issues regarding the full name change and the Rutan name issuance to be decided separately. More news after the break. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back with so much news coming out of the aviation industry. We're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. So let's go ahead and start with Gulfstream Aerospace announced its latest record making attempt between standing city pairs. This time, a speedy journey by its G500 and G600 aircraft flying between Switzerland's Sion and Lugano Airport, as well as the UK's London City Airport. The entry into London City is a hallmark demonstration of low speed handling and short field capability with its notoriously steep approach. London City requires the certification for landing, both due to the exceedingly demanding approach path and its stringent noise abatement requirements. Finland's upcoming replacement of their aging Boeing FA-18CD Hornets has reportedly been chosen, with the rumor mill kicking into high gear prior to any official Ministry of Defense announcement. The deal is expected to buy 65 of America's top-of-the-line F-35, a surprise selection to some as the platform had been seen by leaked Finnish documentation as exceedingly expensive compared to the competition. The FAA has accredited the Drone Racing League as the first unmanned aircraft systems event organizer. The league has been building up a resume over the 2021-2022 World Championship season, putting on a series of races that met their safety protocols 
working with the FAA's Partnership for Safety Plan. While it has not been disclosed if this change will result in all upcoming races, including live in-person viewership, the upcoming World Championship race in Las Vegas, Nevada, will include it. China's aviation regulatory body took the first step towards allowing the operation of Boeing's 737 MAX, breaking a years-long grounding streak. The Civil Aviation Administration of China has approved the changes made to address perceiving shortcomings on the MAX and said that commercial operations of existing 737 MAX aircraft would be allowed sometime in the coming months. The spokesman hinted at the possibility that domestic airlines may also be allowed to resume their purchases of the aircraft. Great news for Boeing's books. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. The world's first just keep on coming in the electric sphere, with a bevy of new products taking advantage of the performance benefits of improved battery tech and high output motors. The upcoming Airspeeder flying car series is slated to be introduced in upcoming unmanned races between competing Mark III electric flying cars. The racers, built to fly when piloted remotely or directly, will initially undergo flight and safety testing prior to the remotely piloted race series. If all goes well, then the proceed Seating races will see each aircraft piloted directly from the cockpit. The Mark III is the newest, latest, and greatest racer Alada has made. Featuring LiDAR and radar collision avoidance systems, a carbon fiber chassis and fuselage, and vastly improved powertrain over previous iterations. The car boasts a 96 kilowatt powertrain aboard a 100 kilogram dry weight, capable of speeds over 100 kilometers per hour. Recent updates to the Mark III C included installing improved 5G networking for near simultaneous instantaneous remote control between multiple units. Mass production has begun in association with the South Australian government. Their 20 million AUS support for the Australian Space Park has been instrumental in building the infrastructure needed to make a cutting-edge next-generation factory. Our last top story of the episode coming up after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We our Hartzell Propeller. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. This is the last top story of the show. Parrot has announced a new version of its Anafi drone, the 4G LTE connected enterprise platform, Anafi AI, equipped with a HDR10 48 megapixel camera suite, sensor survey capability, single click photogrammetry, onboard drone SDK, fully autonomous capability. The drone adds a much longer ranged option to the pilot portfolio. Using ubiquitous Verizon LTE network, the AI can fly unrestrained by direct line of sight and Wi-Fi networks, enabling a wider range of targets to be surveyed. The Anafi AI offers an open source on aircraft SDK for onboard coding capabilities, FIPS 142 compliant design and open source software. Compatible with 4G networks around the world, the drone can connect without a range limit to complete any mission. In the demonstration, the AI was able to map difficult targets including large seaside buildings, 
sprawling metro areas with a dense ground level obstruction and tall cell towers with impressive accuracy. The drone's distinctive image capture equipment lies atop an insectoid-derived gimbal with the mounts capable of three-axis orientation, yaw, pitch, and roll. Conventional traditional drones restrict their movements on two axes, a swiveling and tilted base. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.